Hey, Monroe. Let's have a stain cut test. If you lose, I'll pluck one of your eyes out. Well, hello there, my fellow warriors. Hey, nice bud. to see you all joined up. It's been a few weeks. Very long and boring few weeks, but I wanted to gather everybody around so we could talk about a few matters. <laughs> oh man, Warren. <laughs> you got me there, buddy, with the whole boring. Having this mustache guy around, it's anything but boring around here. <laughs> uh, he was entertaining at first, I will say that, but he's kind of fucking annoying now, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it just runs his mouth. Maybe we gotta cut his tongue out or something. No, I like that idea! Oh, wait, wait a minute, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's not how wait, I should talk at a I meeting. Don't, I don't like that idea. It's me, that's mean. It's not nice. You're, you're just an annoying motherfucker. Exactly. But, but Bridget, look. we have the same jackets, though. Well, I don't give a friends. fuck if you two have the get, same jackets. Get the jacket. hell out of here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Okay, everyone, calm down. Calm down. No chaos in the presence of Orin. Not like this. Now, boss. You called us for a meeting, I see, and I think I know what this is about. Yes, 100%. New Haven. It's been two weeks since I murdered that son of a bitch. You know, we took out their chain of command. I gutted him completely, left him to bleed out in the woods. With their former leader now sitting here like a coward, and their current leader, you know, six feet under next to his dead best friend somewhere in the woods, I was thinking... Now would be the perfect time to attack while they're weak, and they're probably fighting amongst themselves as we speak. Oh, uh, I know they oh, yeah, are. Man. Poor their bastards. Their downfall just makes, their downfall just makes my balls tingle, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, we... look, we can talk about tingling testicles or stupid mustaches, but at the end of the day, that place is crumbling right before our eyes. We need a game plan, alright? So this is what I'm thinking. Chrisley, I need you to set up proper security around this fucking place. Take a couple goons with you. I really don't fucking care who. All right, Hell Lonnie. Yeah, man. Lonnie, I want you patrolling the overall place around here. I want Bridget to do the same thing. I need this place to be fucking safe. I need this to be like a goddamn patrol around here. Monroe, I want you to take a fucking shower. You smell like fucking ass. Take a fucking little bit of a razor to your head. Maybe chop that fucking hair off. And most importantly, chop that fucking mustache off your face. All right, everybody. I think this is going to be a good day. But, but, but I like my mustache. I don't fucking give a fuck. If you like it so much, why don't you fucking beat off to it? All right. Now, is everybody in place? Does everybody know what their objective is today? Ah, there do. is one last thing, Oren. And Monroe asked me not to bring this up, but... I'm gonna bring it up anyway. Um, he said behind your back that you're an incompetent piece of shit and that Drake should be dead and that you can't lead us properly. <laughs> wow. Well, looks like we have ourselves a snitch. All right. All right. Well, two weeks of peace. And now you want to try something? Look at you, sitting in your chair acting like you belong. Do you want to fucking try to take my position? Because I guarantee you do a okay. shit job. Listen, Oren. I came here to give you information to take care of Samuel. And all you did was destroy the community. The only thing you didn't do that I wanted you to do aside from kill Samuel is, kill Dr is not kill Drake. Drake I want dead. And you haven't done that. So how about you get off your lazy ass and do that for once, huh? Holy fuck, shut up already. It's the same bullshit every time. What the fuck do you think you are? Going around your big fucking stupid jacket with your fucking mustache. What do you think you are, the Pope or something? I'm fucking in charge, you're not. Now you're gonna sit in that fucking seat that I assigned you, and you're gonna shut the fuck up. Now, Man. are there any more problems at this fucking meeting that I need to know about? All clear, boss. All right. That's what I like to hear. Everybody, get to work. We have a long day ahead of us. Poison spread, Ready? so do we.
Look at this place, guys. All of it. Still Awful. freaking just lost. Stores. Stores are all gone. Half the houses are gone. One of the only buildings still left standing is the movie theater. I have something I have to say. What, what is, is it? it? Yeah. Samuel's been out of it for two weeks now. He's in no condition to be leading this place. So I've decided that I'm going to take his role as leader from now. But I need someone by my side. Democracy isn't working. We're all falling apart. We need to get this place back in working order. Man, no, I'm, I um, I think you'd make a great leader for now. Um, there, blind leader. But me and my end, I'm just I'm in the right headspace to be leading alongside you. I'm just with what happened with Samuel, it's just, I'm not the right person to help lead. Sorry. I completely understand, Drake. What about you, Reaper? No, thank you. You go down this path, it's it'll be a slippery slope. Could backfire. Mm, I see. Okay. It's fine. I'll, I'll do it. I will. I'll lead <laughs> with you. Matt Mercer, eh? Well, you know what? If you're willing, and you'll do as you're told, then I have no objections. Well, you said you liked it when people prove you wrong, right? Let me prove you wrong. <laughs> you're right about that. I'll lead with you. Sure thing. Okay, I think, well, uh, we should get started. We need to rebuild this place. It can't mm. fall like this. No, Drake, it can't. Uh, go by Samuel's today, see if he's doing any better. Friggin' give him the update on the leadership change around here for a bit, alright? Alright, well, to you, uh... Okay, Warper. good, uh... What about Warper? What about him, Reaper? I need to go talk to him. See what he's did to my son. Uh, I don't know if now's the right time for that, Reaper. If you're so keen on going, just don't make sure that no violence gets out of hand. We can't have that here right now. No civil war. I'm not right out. I and... wasn't planning to, because we've been through too much. All right. Honestly, right. honestly, I'm not even that worried about Warper right now. My main worry is Adam. Kid's been giving me shit freaking since he got here. Well, you know what's another problem that we need to worry about, blind leader? Since now that we're uh, taking charge of this place is Eric. That guy uh, has been uh, out of control. Adam has been yelling at people, blaming them for his problems. Eric literally has been drinking himself to sleep every night, getting completely drunk and threatening violence. So, I, there's civil unrest I, here. I can't say I've ever had a kid, but if I was him, then I don't know what I'd do, but I could try and talk to him and see if he's alright, unless you want to. Drake, I have a task for you. Yeah? Once you're done talking to Samuel, you're gonna go and talk to Adam, okay? Now, you I'll... two, I know you two aren't the biggest of friends, but me and Blind Leader, we gotta deal with this Eric problem. The guy is legitimately becoming a threat, and I don't like it. I don't like it, but I guess um, I'll do it. But We need to make sure everyone's on a stable ground before we can start He's... rebuilding. Yes, I agree. He's... Yeah. Well, you guys, good luck with leading, and uh, Mercer, I think you'll um, you'll do good here. You've uh, you're earning your keep. You are. Yeah, thanks, kid. All right, light okay. leader, let's uh, let's get to work. Yes. <sighs> well, times have certainly changed since that bullshit was used. Yeah, it's been a long time, although I feel like we're about to use it again soon if you catch my drift, Warren. Wait, who do you suggest? <laughs> who do you think I'm suggesting? Mr. Mustache, that motherfucker. <sighs> Monroe? <laughs> nah, that shit's too easy for him. S that's wait. You wouldn't suggest shit like that. You'd come up with something more fucked up, like chopping his dick off or chopping off a part of his ass cheek or something. What happened to you, man? It's like that New Haven shit just softened you. What happened to you? Nothing happened to me, Orn. I'm simply just observing the options we have in front of us. If we are to assault the New Haven soon, we do not have time to be cutting dicks off. We must act fast if we are to win, my lord. Now, am I heading to Wade's old outpost for the takeover? Yes, okay, so that's what I meant to talk to you about. 
This fucking place. This is gonna be the place we ambush those fuckers. Now, who knows who they're gonna send? More than likely, they're gonna send a lot of their main people there. Which means they're fucked, alright? Now that's where you come in. You're gonna come in, you're gonna charge, you're gonna do everything you can, and you don't stop until there's nothing but blood and nobody breathing. You hear me? I understand, Oren. Although, if I find Drake Wolf, do I kill him? Or do you? would you like the pleasure, Master? You know what? I've heard enough of people yapping, so this is what I'm gonna want you to do. You find him, injure him a bit. Maybe chop off a limb if you need to. Preferably the arms, because you're gonna need him to walk back. Maybe take out his tongue so he can't speak properly. I don't want to hear any motherfuckers yapping in my face. I already have to deal with mustache over there. Chop off his tongue, maybe chop off an arm. You know, get the process moving. Bring him back to me, and I'll take care of the rest. As you wish, my lord. Expect this done in a day. Maybe two tops. As for Monroe, I hope you kill that traitor by the time he is back. We have wasted enough of our time and resources on a clown like him. I'll radio you when I reach Waves. Poison spread, so do we, my lord. Ah. Good luck, warrior. Good luck. Ah. Softy. Hey there, who ordered Papa John's? Cause we're gonna find out who your real pop is. I, I mean, uh, uh hey Oren, uh, you, you called us? What kind of fucking pappy do you think you are anyway? Anyway, listen. I want you two to, uh, kind of hear me out on something, alright? I didn't want to say it in front of the others, but now that I got you two, I want to make sure that I have some people around here I can trust. Now both of you, you guys have been relatively good. You did really good there a few weeks ago back at the New Haven. So... Yes. I got a little bit of, a little bit of a mission for you both, if you're willing. Ooh, I like, I like where this is going, boss. What do you, uh, what do you have in mind for us? Yeah, All right. boss, what you got? So, look, okay, maybe I overhyped it, because the boss, look, I, I know I always give you guys some interesting missions. This one's a little bit on the boring side, but I think it's easily the funnest one to crack, all right? You're going to spy on Monroe. That little fucker has been pissing me off, not listening to any of my demands. Especially, I gave him all the leverage, and he's acting like he's acting like the fucking one in charge. He's acting like he's still there at the New Haven, doing all his commands. And well, that needs to change. So you're going to follow him around today. You're going to keep tabs on him. You're going to act like you're his best friend in the whole wide fucking world. You are going to do everything that you can to make sure that he thinks that you are his friend. Report back to me throughout the day as many times as you can. Tell me what the fuck he's up to, because I know that that fucker is nothing but a snake. Oh, I know a little bit about stealth missions, boss. Ooh, me and Monroe, we're gonna have a hell of a time! Uh, Alright. Back when I can, boss! Perfect! Alright. Like I said to the others, it's gonna be a good day today. Have fun! Sure will. Sure will. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> Alright, that'll be seven fifty. Alright, here you go. And uh how this thing has music uh pre installed on it? Yes, man. It has music pre-installed. It's got that special one you've been asking about. Hmm. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you there, uh, Eddie, right? Yeah, that's it. All right. Thank you. You have yourself a good day. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank God he's gone. Oh, God! <laughs> what? Over here! <laughs> Come on. Come this way. No, 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 no. What are you doing? No, no. No, no. Don't be scared. It's all it's gonna be fine. Alright, now you're probably wondering, uh, are we gonna kill you? The answer is yes! Nah, I'm just kidding. We really didn't agree with what Oren said at the table, and, uh, we, we wanna, we wanna, uh, you to be our new leader. <laughs> and that right, Bridget? Really? Oh, really? yeah. I knew, I knew, I knew the jacket. It's the jacket, huh? I knew the jacket made us, uh... 
Oh yeah, we're totally gonna be friends here. Yeah, no one's gonna hurt you. Or will uh -oh. we? <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah. Uh, I, I like you, but you're a... <laughs> yeah, Vegeta, he's so intense! <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, he certainly is. Yeah. How about this? Well, uh, you guys wanna talk? You guys wanna take down Orin? Meet me at my place in a few hours. That work? And, uh... Oh, hell yeah! Man, Chris Lee, you know what you should do? Man, I think this would be good on you. You should, you should grow a mustache. I think it'd look awesome with you mustache buds. <laughs> oh yeah, so this guy, fun, he's man. something. Uh, right, you love the mustache, so... Yeah, going, mustache. Hello, Warper. Uh, Something I need to tell you. Pleasure, Reaper. You know we don't like each other. You have our past. We've been through a lot. So there's something I need to tell you so that I can keep myself in check. I need you to stay away from Adam. Yeah. Why, why, why would you say such a thing? There's something very off about him. As a father, it very pains me to watch him act like immoral and to approve of straight up evil. You want to know what that boy went through out on the road? Reaper. Go on. Okay, I'll keep it short for you, because I don't like getting into stories. Those put me to sleep. We were dealing with some bad folks. We lost good people. Your son, he nearly died. I saved his life. Now these people, I would even argue they're more animalistic than these poisons that we're dealing with. Now these guys... There are demons that were hell walking on Earth, and if I didn't save him, well, you wouldn't exactly have an Adam to worry about, Reaper. So, I'm gonna ask you to stop coming into my home and making demands. I'm very grateful for you keeping Adam alive, but the least you could do is try to help him become a better person. We had a discussion earlier, and he was justifying killing innocent people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what those innocent people were? They were people that were trying to get by on the road. They were just out there, eating, shitting, not doing really anything of value. We held them up, we took their shit, and we sent them on their way. Now look, me, I'm a survivalist. And because of my ideals, you still have a son. You can't tell me that my ways are flawed, because if my ways weren't what got us around out there, your boy would be dead. Now please, just hear me out on this, Reaper. There's other shit to worry about than this petty drama. Us, that shit that happened with the Hunters all those years ago, that shit with Rode and Samson and Liz and the Separatists, it's old news. I want you to drop this fucking grudge. you say so? Yeah. Get out of my house. Ugh, what the fuck? Dad, what are you doing? Right. You, you give him a whooper shit again or something? I mean... Yeah, I was. I mean, yeah, I was. Shut the fuck up already. Just get out. Just get out of here. I can't, I can't stand this. Okay. I think Walker has had enough. Yo, no, my hey, bro. What the you, fuck are you no, listening to? Give me, give me, give me, give me. Yeah. Hey, you guys have never heard of Love Strap? It's like the best song ever. I mean, they even use it in that. Uh,
They, they even uh, use I wouldn't be listening to this if my mom told me to. <laughs> Man, come on. They, they, they use that video game at the end when all the main characters start singing it. I know, what am I saying? That game is fucking trash. Right, it's yeah, a gangster I, game. I don't, I don't really care. We got more problems to deal with than your trashy music. Uh, anyways, uh, let's uh, hear it. What do you... You got for that plan to take down or I'm so excited to hear it. Yeah, yeah I'm really interested in this. I think it's very smart, very simple. I'm gonna sneak into this room, gonna get a weapon, he's gonna sleep, and I'm gonna have him in the head while he sleeps. Done. Sounds like a plan. That is fucking amazing, lad. And how do you expect to do that when there's like a hundred guards guarding the place? Man, with 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 friends like you by my side, you two. Anything's possible. We're unstoppable, the three of us together. We will kill those 100 guards, and I will slit Orin's throat and take over. And once I leave this place, I will lead it in a better direction. Okay, okay, uh, uh, yeah, man, I'm actually kind of glad you think of me so fondly. Oh, Monroe, you're my bestest friend ever. I fucking love you, my little munchkin. Um, I can't wait can to go I say... through with it. And once the once Orange dead, I'm gonna throw a party. Uh, I'm gonna throw a party, and the music's gonna be Love Shack. We're all gonna dance to Love Shack together with Orange dead. Uh, yeah, maybe change the song, but yeah, I can't wait, man. That's gonna be amazing. It is man. gonna rock. Hey, it's gonna be a VIP lounge, and you guys know you're invited. Woohoo! Oh yeah. What the hell is this anyway? This place is trash. It's been trashed for weeks and you're doing nothing about it. Justice for Lentz. Yeah. What? Justice for Lentz. We, Justice we for Lentz. Justice. We need answers here. We need answers Justice. here. We don't want to live leader. here anymore. This is not a leader. Come we on. This answers. is ridiculous. We want answers. That on some place. All right, come on, guys, settle down. Oh, working with poisons now, I see. <laughs> you guys see this? What a joke. What a sick joke. Please oh. calm down. We are doing the best we can here. We don't need any of this. The civilians need to stay stabilized. Oh, whatever. Oh. What kind How of freaking place is this? When you're working with poisons, we got Matt Mercer. There's that. There's that French fellow, whatever his name is here. Like, Ooh. what's next? Guys, we can't trust guys, anyone. Guys, listen to me. All right, blind leader. He has been your protector and your guardian angel for a long time. If you listen to him, he will lead you to safety. Now, as for me, I know you guys don't have any reason to trust me, and I get that you're angry, but just listen, okay? I want to do right by you people. I've been here for a few months now, helping you guys, getting ready, plotting against Orin. And I know that if you guys just follow us, then things will go better than the way they are now. Please. Yes, yeah, says who? The poison? Yeah. This is ridiculous. Says Everyone! Yeah. You see this blood on me? It's the blood of the poisons. I understand that everything has ha that, that has happened to the city has been nothing but chaos. But believe me, when we are back in working order, we will make them pay and we will make them suffer for what they have done. But you have to believe in us. Please, just give us a chance. You have to. Well, you see, we trust Blind Leader. Our problem's with you there, Matty Boy. Mm -hmm. I don't trust this guy as far as I could throw. We should kill him. And I don't want to hear it. I don't you should all know him. that in New Haven, anyone that arrives here deserves a chance. We Even if I'm him. not that trustworthy, we they deserve a you. second chance. What did you say? We should kill the both of you. We should start an uprising. Justice for Lutz. Yeah, I'm down. Come on. Back up, man. Back up. Or hey. what? Huh? Listen, calm down there. This isn't this is what we're going to deal with right now. Blind leader's innocent in all this. You want to take it out of Mercer, fine, but not blind leader. Stay out of this. Shut the fuck up, doctor, before you're next. Hey, you mutter any more threats, and this is going to get ugly. You hear me back there? Yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? You're going to take me out. You're not going to have a doctor here anymore. 
here anymore. Yeah, you got Liz, but I know everything. I know surgery and all that. You get rid of me, you guys have no hope. Okay. Everyone just stop. This is a mess. We can't yeah. have this. I'll say. This is a mess, all right. What a fucking disgrace this is. My wife and child are dead because of you people. I should have you hung. Okay, blind leader. We should just get out of here. This isn't going to work. This is We will make this right. I promise. But for now, we need to do stuff and we need to make sure the city is safe and stabilized. We can't have this. Before yeah. Into a riot, let's go. Let's run like a bunch of cowards. That's all you're good for. <sighs> I don't know if this how much we're gonna be able to hold this place, Matt. Everyone's falling, crackling down. Nothing good is happening. Samuel's been out of it for two weeks now. The whole place is. <sighs> I don't know. Look at me, blind leader. These people, we have to give them hope. We can't just crumble at threats of violence. We can't just give up. This place, it's still standing. We still have this building that we're standing in right now. We still have a few homes left. We still have people here. The New Haven is not lost. We are not lost. These people outside, they're just set astray. But we can bring them back. All we have to do is show them hope. You're right. But after all that's happened, Matt, what hope is there left? We're still alive, aren't we? We still have people. Samuel's still kicking after a near-death experience. We're still standing, aren't we? Yeah. I can't lose I can't lose myself right now. I need to stay strong for everyone. You know, Matt, I know I've always been a bit rough to you, but I always liked your tenacity. Uh, I appreciate it, and I, uh, I thank you for letting me even have a chance to lead this place after what I did. You know, I've been looking for forgiveness for a long time, and, you know, real people. I've always been throwing in with the wrong people, and not by choice either, I just seem to have bad luck, but it seems like you people was the group I needed this whole time. People that joined New Haven were meant to have a second chance, and once you joined, I broke that code. Please forgive me. Ah, uh, I should be the one asking for forgiveness, Wine Leader. Well, you've made me feel at ease, Matt. Let's do everything we can to get this place back in working order. Okay. Let's do this. Samuel? Uh, Samuel? Six pack ain't enough. What? Sa Sa hey there, Samuel. kid. How you doing? Sa the do do the doctor said you weren't supposed to drink until you recovered. Well, hell, I mean, not really much else to do while you're just sitting here stuck at home recovering, so... A six-pack it is. How many did you drink? Yeah, a six-pack. Uh, how many six-packs? Uh, maybe three. Jesus Christ. Look, yeah, anyway. it's no big deal. I drank a lot more. Uh, uh, well, I came to talk to you. Just wanted to talk to you a bit about what's going on around here. Yeah, so has the community been taking everything over the last couple weeks? Eh, pretty good. Things are going well. People are, um... Doing I get well. it. Stop yanking my chain. You know, one of the worst things about the Road Wolf family is that they are terrible liars. Yourself included. So why don't you cut the act and tell me what's really going on? Because you look stressed as hell, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I mean, you, you got me there. It's... It's not going well, Samuel. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's What's uh, going on, kid? People are paranoid. They're scared. They're angry. They want justice. Just Adam, he's being a shit disturber, causing problems. Eric, uh. after his boy died in the cave, he's been causing problems. He's been he's been drinking. 
From what I hear, it, make, it makes you look like nothing, Samuel. Well, you know, Liz did tell me that I need to take it easy for a little while, but not gonna lie to you, if that wasn't the case, I'd be out there and I'd be kicking all their asses for not being better leaders. You know, the one thing that we gotta do, keep this place together, we gotta make sure that there's somebody that can lead, somebody that is right to be in charge, and if we can't do that, things are gonna go wrong very fast. Speaking of leader, uh, we actually we do have some stuff going on. A uh, blind leader, he's um, taking control while you're recovering, and um, believe it or not, Matt Mercer's actually uh, helping him out, collating with him. You know, I've never seen someone like Matt Mercer. You hate him one minute, and then you absolutely just have no choice but to love him the next minute. It's weird, that guy. It's really weird. I'm gonna lie. At first, after what happened at the party, I was mad at Mercer. I hated him, just like you you did. I didn't trust him for a second, but honestly, ever since uh, ever since he saved you back at the uh, Sanctum when you fought Lonnie, honestly, I'm certain he's been really growing on me, and now I just see him as one of us. I, I fully trust him. I see. Well, anyway, can, wh whoa! Oh, okay, Samuel, uh, give, me, give, me, give, me, give me the beer. Give me the beer. Hand it, hand it over. Hand it over. All right. All right. Now, you're going to go upstairs and rest, and I'm going to go to your fridge, and I'm going to take all your beers, and I'm going to store them while you recover, okay? And you're not going to drink anymore? Hey, take my beer. Good thing is you don't know about my wine coolers. <laughs> off, off, off the bed, Samuel. All right. Damn it all. Damn all of them. <laughs> Eric, do you have a minute? For you? No. I will never spare a second of my time for a poison. Okay, well if you're gonna act like this, I'll make it quick. You have to stop riling people up here. Folks here have lost a lot, and they do not need to be getting radicalized by words of hatred and violence. Your whole motto is hatred and violence. You are a poison. You know word spreads around here fast. Oh really? Elaborate then, why don't you? We all knew about that. Fake New Haven Wade was running. Lonnie was stationed there, so I assume you were too, right? Eric, please, man. I've been trying to improve. I never agreed with what Wade did to you guys. I hate Wade. That man made my life a living hell. You gotta understand. Don't lie. You liked it. You enjoyed what happened there. I heard about the cannibalism. Blind leader told me all about that day when a man was hung from a chain by a piece of his brain. His best friend, Leonardo, was forced to put him out of his misery. I bet you had something to do with that man ending up like that, now didn't you? I... I did. But it was not my decision. Maybe it's best if we don't talk for now. Look at me. LOOK AT ME! You need to do more than leave me be. You need to leave New Haven. This is not your home. We are not your people. You are the enemy, Matt Mercer. And I will do my damn best to make sure everyone wakes up to reality. Because eventually, they will. Everyone sees you as a hero right now. But when the mask eventually slips, and they see who you really are, they'll call for your head. All of them will. I know Road Wolf would have. Look. Maybe I do deserve those things. All of them. But, as an in-the-now thing, I'm gonna put this as straightforward as I can to you. I am helping lead this place right now. I will make sure that the New Haven gets back on his feet and thrives once again. I may have done some terrible things while throwing in with the poisons, but that's the past. And what's important is right now, Eric. 
you want to try something when this is over, go for it. Take your best fucking shot. But we're in a war right now. People are sick and injured. And I know that the reason this place falls is not going to be a miserable drunk holding a grudge. My son will have justice, Matt Mercer. The poisons will fall. You and Oscar, blind leader, all you traitors, you better watch your goddamn backs. You still there? Or in the mirror. What's going on? You know what you did? You really want to know what you did? My office. Now. We need to talk. Oh, okay. Uh, what time? Uh, right now? Doesn't matter. Go to my office. Now. Okay. Okay, I'll be there. I'll be there soon. Go right. your little tiny legs to my office. Alright. I'll be there as soon as possible. Alright. Ah, so many books to pick. I don't know which one. Hey, 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 Orn. Hey. What? Hey! Ah, it's the dipwit. All right, perfect. So, I'm sure you're wondering why I called you over here. I really didn't want to do this, but it looks like you gave me no choice. So, I get the understanding that there's a few lies being told. A few things that you're not telling me. So now's the time to spill the beans. Go ahead, just you and me. What are you talking about? What, is this about the- is this about what I said at the meeting? Oh, Monroe. Oh, you never listen. Look, you don't want to piss me off. And seeing how loud this conversation's already getting, it's not gonna end well for you. So listen, you can stand there and act like nothing is going on. You can act like nothing has gone wrong today. Or, you have one more chance to stand there Shut the hell up about this nonsense and start talking about something that's actually important! Alright? Now... Are you gonna lie? Are you gonna tell the truth? What are you planning? I'm not planning anything. I promise. I... That, that at the table, that was just... Shouldn't have said that and I'm sorry. You're... The table? You're right. I need to you know think that's what I'm talking about? The table? The table is over! Hell, screw the table! I hate tables! Listen, this is about your activity today. Now you know what you've been up to. And you know what you've been doing. Is it- One is more it chance, it, or this is over for you. What? Is it because of- is it because I listened to Love Shack? Oh my god. You know what? It's no- no use. Look. You can listen to your pop, pop, whatever the hell kind of crap music you listen to. I really don't care. You've officially put yourself in a terrible situation. So, whatever happens to you next, just know I didn't want this. I wanted to let you and your mustache live through today. But apparently, things have to go wrong for you. Get the hell out of my office and get out of here now. Sir, and I shave that mustache! You. I told you I didn't like it. Okay, okay. I'll shave it. Get out I promise. Here. I'll shave it. I'll shave it. Adam, come here a sec, would ya? Uh, sure. Uh, what's up? I'm just making dinner right now. I need you to hand me some supplies over there. Would you go to the cupboard? Sure, uh, sure thing, yeah, of course. I gotta uh, talk to you too, Adam. Wait. Just, I need to ask. Was that... Was that prick bothering you back there? My dad was... Adam, I don't call him a prick. He's your old man, at the end of the day. Now me and him may have our disagreements, but that doesn't give you the right to treat him like a piece of shit. But he's a weakling. No, he's not. Your old man... You know, you weren't around when this happened, but... You remember the Hunter's Den? Well... Yeah, of course. You know, Grifton, your old man, he helped me take Grifton down. We made a deal. You rem the reason you're alive is partially because of him, so don't disrespect him. 
All right. Fine. Whatever you say, just don't expect me to take a liking to him. I hate him. Still, I don't care. Well, what do you hate him for, Adam? Tell me. Because he's not my real father. He never was, and he never will be. Not after everything that's happened, not after this whole fucking apocalypse happened, he's never been my father, and I never... And I never will accept him as him. You're broken. Much like I was. You know, when I was your age, I didn't have much of a father either. He was... He was a mean old prick. But, at the end of the day, I still loved him. He was my old man. And look, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Hell, you're a grown man yourself. But all I'm saying is, you should not be acting like this around Reaper, okay? Now let's just drop this topic. I don't want to wake Oscar up. You know, hand me all those, right, fine. Hand me those kitchen supplies. Sure. Uh, a little late for that, guys. I could hear you all the way upstairs. Oh, God damn it! Look, the poison's up. Adam, come on, stop it. What? I I'm telling the truth. Adam, poison. Go do something. Just not here. <sighs> Just go. Fine, whatever. Then. Kid. Not a poison. So, sleep easy. Yeah, uh, appreciate you letting me uh, crash here, man. I mean, didn't really have time to get settled into a house before, you know, Warren came here a few weeks ago. It's fine. Yeah, it's mostly because the people here, well, they treat you like shit, don't they? Aside from you and Matt Mercer, that's about it, yeah. I mean, ever well, since I ran here. Welcome to the club. I'm making some dinner. You want something? Ah, uh, what you making? Ah, you making some burgers. Ooh. Oh, me and my uh, me and my brother used to make those together back before the uh, back before the bone sill. You know, having a brother, I always wondered what that was like. I was always an only child, living out, lived out in Texas. My uh, yeah, I had a brother. His name was uh, his name was Joseph. We were uh, actually we were twins, believe it or not. Oh. We born same day, a few hours apart. We. We did everything together. We grew up, went to school. We uh, <laughs> hung with the same group of friends, played the same games. You know, and, uh, I can tell by your voice that this man is not alive anymore, is he? I wish he could say he is. I could say he is, but nah. Or and he, because uh, we both come from the sanctum. We, uh, we were civilians. He was a cook. He. He tried to poison one of Oren's orders and, well, I guess you could figure out how that went. He figured it out and he put them in the, uh, a rock rusher. Have you heard about that? I've heard things about this Oren. Hell, I slashed him up a few times and let me tell you something, Oscar. This man, Oren, you gotta reserve your rage. Don't use any of it until you see Oren, I'm telling you. I had learned from experience. You bottle that shit in, and when all of Orin's men are dead, just unleash it. Hey, Let him feel every I... second, every goddamn second. It was, it was so heartbreaking when I found out about what happened to Joseph. I didn't even know till it was over. Orin... Oscar, I'm... listen to me. Don't think about Joseph. Don't think about what Orin's done to you. Put it aside. And then when you have Oren on his goddamn fucking knees, then you bring all those memories back. You let it resurface, and then you put your hands around his neck and strangle him. I guess you're, I guess you're right. Thank you, Warper. You're, uh, that from Warper? Well, Matt Mercer, sorry. You are the only, um, person who's been nice, nice. to me here. Still, uh, learning some of the, uh, the English I see there. <laughs> yeah, eh, well, I grew up in, uh, grew up in Paris. So me and uh, both me and Joseph did so. Oh, very nice. Well, I'm gonna need to be alone now for a bit. If that's all right with you, there, uh, Oscar. I mean, how about this? How about you say uh, we go get a beer or something together on me? Give you somebody to talk to more. All right, all right. I'll meet you there in an hour. Movie theater. All right, all right. Just gotta go get my inhaler from my room. 
Oh, inhaler. You got the asthma, eh? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I did. Funny enough, it's like one of the only things I didn't share in common with my brother, and my brother had to be there for me a lot. Well, I'll see you at the movie theater, Oscar. All right, well, it was nice uh, nice talking, Warper. Thank you. See you in a bit. Mm-hmm. Huh. Still learning a lot of things. Nah, he's a funny guy. Ah, shit, the burgers are burning. Line leader? Hmm? Oh. Reaper. What brings you here? Grizzly. Hey, man. God damn it, Mustache Man. What did you call me out here for? If the plan is even in motion, yet Fidget is still gathering the weapons. Yeah, we're gonna... Well, we, we're in a bit of a situation here. Uh, Oren's on to me, man. He's on to me about this. We're gonna... We need to move this up. Something I need to tell you. Walker has to go. You know I can't... I can't exile him, Reaper. Not after everything he's done for us. But he's fucked up my son. Listen, listen. Watching my son act the way he does is killing me. Thanks to Warper. <laughs> you, you thought he wasn't even onto you in the first place? Oh, goodness. So, what is your plan then? Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Screw killing him in his sleep. I'm gonna go up to him, and I'm gonna slit- I'm gonna go up to him, I'm gonna kill as many guys as I can, I'm gonna slit his throat right in front of his fucking audience. And right after I do that, I'm gonna take off his head, show them his head, and then they're gonna bow to me, and I'm gonna be their new leader. They will follow me. All of you will. I get it, okay? But your boy, he's his own man. There's nothing more that can really be done about it. And Whooper, he saved Samuel and Drake. It's enough to keep him here. Listen. I don't want you to kick out Warper because I completely hate him. I'm starting to like him after finding out how he's kept my son alive. I need him out so that I don't do anything I might regret. <laughs> oh, as much as much as I think you're an idiot, Mud, no, I do like the sound of that. You know, kill Lauren, don't kill him, <laughs> as long as I'm having fun. This world <laughs> went to shit, and it became reborn. And when the world goes to shit, you too shall be reborn. <laughs> you know what I say? I actually have an offer for you. Once I take over this place and lead it, what do you say you're my right hand? Oh, baby, I'd love that! Yeah, you're gonna be the best right hand. We're gonna lead this place together. Come on, Fuck what do you say? Stash. Look at this. I forgot to mention this, but stash this in my house. I, uh... Stole it off a guard that was uh, watching, honestly sleeping on the job. Stole it and stashed in my house. So, what do you say we go up there? We take out Orn. Well, you're the boss, so if you want to kill Orn now, let's go then. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's kill this fucker. <laughs> Orn, your days are over. I'm the new leader now. <laughs> Ah, shit. Hey, Reaper. Thought I should tell you something. I, uh, spoke to your boy. You should, uh, probably go and see him. He's a broken kid right now. Hey, Oscar. Yeah? Sorry you have to see the worst of us. You, uh... I assume you two have history? Yeah, complicated fucking history. Line leader! Hmm? Come here a sec. Oh. Now, I need you to answer me honestly. Because I don't like when people just fucking stare at me and don't say shit. 
Did he ask you to fucking kill me? <laughs> oh, believe me, he didn't say that. He said he wanted me to exile you. I turned him down, though. After all After I've what fucking you... done, he wants me exiled. I feel bad for him, you know. It's his son after all. I might not know what that's like, but... I had to tell him that because you saved Samuel and Drake, I can't just simply kick you out of here. No, and I'm not going anywhere. Reaper will have to carry me out with his cold, dead fucking hands. No one will be carrying anyone out with any cold, dead hands, though. He... I, uh... I'm not aware of what happened in the past between you guys, but... Honestly, I don't think it matters right now. I think there's bigger problems than whatever's going on between you two. I think we need everyone here, no matter no matter what. You, Reaper, we need everyone. Oscar, shut the fuck up with the melodramatic shit and get me a drink. All right, I'll go do it. Let's go. There's Bridget. Alright, time. Hey Bridget, you got the weapons? Yep, I got them. Alright, well, you better have, because uh, we're doing this now. I'm taking out Orin, and you two, you guys are just gonna cover me. Make sure any of his men that come at me, don't get me. You guys kill them, I take care of Orin. I take out the head of the snake. And... I am my messiah! Alright. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Bridget, uh, Chris Lee is gonna be my right-hand man right after I take over. Alrighty. All right, so let's do this. Come on. No security? Really? Dude, this is going to be easier than I thought. <laughs> do this. Wait. Wait. Where's the th Where's the throne? What Where's the throne? What is what's going on? Where's the th You stupid asshole. I knew you'd pull something like this. I was just waiting for the get-go. Uh, All right. It's over, Orin. It's over. I got oh, friends here. We're gonna kick you out. Is it over? I think you're reading a little bit too far into this. See, you're dead, and I'm the hero that took his throne away because I knew, I knew that you would do this. I knew that you would pull something like this. <laughs> Chrisley, Bridget, attack! Monroe. I told you, as long as I'm having fun, that's all that Wait. matters. What? What? Attack him! What are you doing? Good job, warriors. Good job. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, I must say, this is the most fun I've had being bored at home for a while. <laughs> but, no, but, I, we were friends! We, we, we were buds, Chris Lee! I was gonna make my right hand! Bridget, we have the same jacket! L listen here, bud. Your times are over. And this, this is the end. I gave you chance after chance, and you still pulled this today. It, it's, you're done. You're done, Orin. I'm gonna take you out. I'm gonna take you out, I'm gonna take these traitors out. I'm gonna take all of you out. I'm gonna rule this place instead of you. Though. Now you gotta die. Those are the rules. Fuck you! Ah. Ugh. <laughs> you fucking tease. All right, you go get him now. God, fuck. You guys know your positions. If you see Monroe run this way, you kill him on sight. I hate this place. They're all fucking traitors. After everything I've done for them, they betray me. Oh, Chris is gonna regret what he did. He's gonna regret fucking taking Orange's side. Once I take over, Chris is gonna suffer. They're all gonna suffer! God damn it, where the fu- Everything's fucking- oh, shit! I don't- oh, What the- Oh, the hell do you want? Get up here. We have a chat you make. Get up here? <laughs> you think you are ordering me around? So, what's been, uh, what you doing out here? I'm looking for family photos. What's it to you? Family photos of you and Reaper? 
So you do. So you do care. Shut the. If you don't shut up, I swear to God, it doesn't matter what I'm looking. What do you want? Look, can you and me have a talk for once, man to man? We need to have a chat here. <laughs> you and me need to have a chat? You know what you need to do? You need to get more security on this place, because you know what? Your security and yourself is fucking awful. My place is gone, all my shit is gone, and you know what? It's all your fault. And you know what Warpro's doing now? He's doubting my instincts. And you know what? Again, that's all your fault. Uh, excuse me, if I'm correct, up to before the attack, you were only here a few days before the attack happened. So, I don't think you have a right to be angry about this place getting destroyed more than any of us here. Hey, shut, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me right now. I stood my ground while you were whining and being a little fucking bitch, alright? That's why, because I'm strong, and you know what? You're not strong, you're just weak. You're a weakling. At least I have emotion. You just act like a psychopath. What happened to you? I heard you used to be a sweet boy. A young- you were young. You were innocent. You were- Reaper don't, said so many great things about you. Don't call me. Just... Don't call me a psychopath. That is not who I am. I am just strong. Warper showed me how to survive in this world, and you're just being an absolute asshole about it. Yeah, look who you were raised by. Honestly, you know what's funny? I have many issues with Warper. I still do. But I can't believe I'm saying this. You've been a bigger problem than him lately. So you and I need to talk about this and we need to settle this because we cannot be fighting like this. You can't be giving people shit like this and you need to drop the attitude. We're trying to be nice to you. We're trying to work with you. We took you in and all you're doing is spitting and uh, spitting on our faces with our kindness. Fuck you, Drake. I don't want to be nice to people who are absolutely just fucking bombarding Warper with accusations and such to stuff that he just had to do to survive, all right? You've got a grudge against him. Fine then, but nothing's going to be done about that. And now you're just you fueling understand? the fire, and my piece of shit fucking dad is still on my back! You understand the shit Warper did? Because I don't think you, you lost someone close to you to Warper. You'd be singing a different song if you went through what I went through. I lost my father because of Warper. You don't think all of us have lost shit, Drake? The difference with me and you is that I got through it, and I became a hard and tough survivor. You, you just became a fucking wuss. And do you know why you became a fucking wuss? Because your fucking uncle and dad, they both died. And you couldn't do anything to save them. And now because of that, you're just a fucking bastard orphan. Yeah, that's right. You don't have any guidance. I, oh, there you I do. Uh. Fuck you. <laughs> I tried to be nice. I tried to be fucking nice. <laughs> you wanna fucking be a fucking asshole? Fuck off me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how you like it now, huh? Your days are numbered, Monroe! <laughs> Who's the pathetic one now, huh? Oh, come on, we gotta get him! You're dead! Get back here! All right, you all, come on, this is the plan. I want you all to split up, go house to house, until you find that frickin' idiot, all right? You don't stop until you find him. You got it? Got it. Got it. All right, perfect. God damn it, where the fuck is that pansy? Come on, you stupid idiot. I said that fucker. <laughs> Mother down, me more to go. You're all dead. You're all dead. I'll take you down one at a time. What at a time! Well, looks like I'm the last one left. Oh man, this sucks. Ooh, Santa Claus is coming to town. Whoa! Hey, what where are you is doing? He? Did you lose what? him? I, I, I think so. I, the rest of my men are dead. I, I don't know what's going on. Jesus Christ, how do you get killed? 
by a guy like that. I don't uh, know, man. It's weird. Well, he, he ain't gonna escape now because I'm here. Let's play hide and seek, Monroe. You and me. <laughs> uh, all right, sounds like fun. Hurry up, pick up the pace. All right, I'm heading down here. You, <laughs> you hold the rear, buddy. Oh, oh, okay. Are, are you sure? Cause I, I'm real scared. It's getting kind of creepy up here. Oh wow! I sure hope I'm not in such a self in this that vulgar. I mean, he probably did. Where is this creepy guy anyway? Where the hell is he? Oh, that's Have a, a nice trip. Fall. See you next fall. <laughs> oh, fucking idiot. <laughs> fucking idiot. Get out of here. Please, please stop. Please, please. Stop. Stop! You're all fucking crazy! Reaper, deal with your fucking psycho shit of a son! He's lucky and fucking kill him! Deal with that little shit! What happens? Fuck off me already! I don't need any of you! I don't need you to save me! I don't need you! So this drama with uh, Warper and Reaper doesn't seem to be letting up, eh? It's getting to its turmoil, but I don't know how to stop it. I hey. have to figure things out. Hey. What the hell? Both of you. Look, look. What is it? You gotta come with me now. The doctor, he's hurt. I don't know what the hell happened. Come on. Oh, shit. Come shit. on. Come on, Matt. Where was come he? Come on. Hostile. Okay, okay. Where is he? Over here? Look at him. Look at him, man. Look. Not another step, asshole. Ah! Uh, uh. Yeah. Not another step, you pricks. You're making a big mistake. Oh, am I now? Or are you? You're a terrible leader. I was trying to tell you, but you didn't listen to me, now did you? Well, now you're gonna have no choice but to listen. You're gonna regret this. You call me <sighs> a traitor. When you three, you're the traitors. You guys don't have to do this. Nobody has to get hurt here. We can all just yeah, walk yeah. away from this and go home. Ah! Shut the hell up! Stop! Stop! <sighs> You want to pick a fight? You want to know what a, re a real leader is? You can't even keep the original leader in here for long enough before he slips away. And now you just want to call the shots? You don't want to go down this path. Your side? Don't make we can't this. let this happen. I don't want to do this. Don't make okay. me do this. God damn it. All right, enough talking here. Yo, what do you say? We uh, we kill by the quick and we torture Mercer here? That oh, sounds stop. like a good idea to me. No, don't right, do this! Get this I over say with. we kill these two, and we find a way to take over New Haven for ourselves. Stop! The poisons have made you all like this. You can't do this! No. You're with a poison! Alright. Don't Please do don't this! Do There's a more better, efficient way to handle this. Really? Please. I'll give you an efficient way to handle this. No! Hey! Damn you! Damn you! Matt! Matt! It's over. There's no one left, man. Everyone's fucking lost it. Everyone's going nuts. Oren! He's winning! He's won! No, it's fine. we might as well just give Listen, it over to him! Matt! Listen to me. You had no choice. Remember what you said to me in the bar. Keep those words and use them. I know. Make the people know we can't. God damn it! Look, man, we just fucking slaughtered three of our last civilians here. Everyone snapped. Everyone's fucking lost it. Don't worry. 
We're gonna make this better. We're gonna make this right. We have to. Otherwise, Orin might as well just freaking go over to the Sanctum and just freaking throw in with the poisons. Ugh! Hey, you hear that? That sounds like Adam and yeah. Drake. What the hell is going shit. on now? God damn it! Come on, we have to go. Shit, shit, shit. There it is. I'm free. I'm free. Monroe. Whoa, Monroe, where you going? The hider isn't supposed to go out of bounds in the game. You really thought, you really thought that you were going to be able to get away. You killed some of my men, I'll give you that. But you're still a coward. So how about stop being a coward and face me like a man? Yeah, well, I guess I got to kill myself in front of your audience after all. And after I kill you, I'm going to run this place. Way better than you ever did. And you know what I'm going to do after? I'm going to take every else down. I'm going to take Drake down and all of them. They're all going to follow me. I, I already took down three of your men. Many more of you won't be a problem. Yeah, let's go. You think you're going to do that? Huh? Those are my enemies. This is my home. These are my people. You are just the rat I let in. I should have killed you when you arrived at the damn entrance. I'm for much longer. You're just a freaking rat. That's all you are. You're a waste of time. Yeah, take that. How's your leg feel, huh? How does that feel? Good luck walking after that. I can't. All right. You're a psychopath. You're a fucking psychopath, Orin. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck moving. Good luck getting anywhere. You had your fun. Now it's time for me to have mine. Chow! You need to get him under control, Reaper. How long before he pisses off the wrong person, huh? How long? Next thing you know, he's gonna piss off the wrong person, he's gonna get himself killed. I got close to. Just leave me and my son alone. Now. Hey, what's going on down here, guys? Yeah, hell a scuffle over here. Adam doesn't Drake know how to keep his fucking mouth shut and be respectful. Adam, what the hell? What did you do, Drake? He, hey, he said some shit, okay? And I, and I attacked him. Look, then I go too far. Guys, Maybe, but I'm not apologizing because he has a mouth on him. He has no fucking respect. Listen, if you listen, we don't need this violence right no, now. You have mean. to control yourself. Hey, why? What is going on with Adam? He's like shaking and not saying nothing. Drake, God damn it! What the heck? You good? Adam, Adam, are you okay? Please, Adam. please, 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 no, not again, not again, not again. No. I don't know. I don't know what he's going on, but he's been freaking out over. Adam, are you okay? No, please. What happened, Adam? Stop. Please. Oh please. my fucking god. This is a god fucking damn mess. It. This is a mess. Shit. Ah. Listen, we need to. Ah. What the we happening need to calm right down. Now, huh? We can't be on each other's throats like this. Reaper. Reaper. Well, can't get no rest. Can't get no sleep. Can't get no respect. What's the man got to do to get some respect around here? Hey, Samuel, what's what's going on, man? You should be in bed resting. Samuel, you should, what the hell is going out. on out here? You guys really think this is the best choice, stopping the poisons like this? I can't even get two seconds of rest for crying out loud. By fighting amongst ourselves, that's the coward way out. Just like I told Drake the other day. I see Blind Leader and Matt Mercer trying to fix this place, bringing it back to the way it was. Y'all are busy fighting now? Is that what this place has turned into? You know what? Go ahead. Keep on fighting. Give Orin the win. Hell, let's just wave the white flag and get this over with. Or, you can all smarten the hell up and get your act together. This place, all the people living here, look up to us. Every single one of them. All the people here, 
they are looking at us for the answers. We have to lead them to the haven, a new haven. That's what this place was promised to be. We will keep that promise. We have to. Otherwise, Road Wolf's death will have meant nothing. Do you hear me? Now, all you have to do is get ready. We all, we grab any last minute supplies. We're done living like this. It's time to take the fight to Orin himself, right at his doorstep, us against him. Enough dilly-dallying around, enough fighting in the middle of the street in front of our destroyed homes that we all tried to save. Instead of talking about what we should have done, let's talk about what we can do. I want you all to be ready, smart and hell up, and get ready. We take this fight to Orin, and we're doing it now. Mustache man. <laughs> Remember that one? What do you want, Chris Lee? You betray me already. What? Here to rub it in? <laughs> nah, I'm not here to rub it in. Uh, I decided I might as well just come see you. I mean, I actually did really want to talk to you, actually. Listen. What? About about what? What? You gonna trick me into trying to betray Orin again? Gonna make me even? Gonna me? Gonna make me even look like a, even more of a fool? My place is with Orin. It's how it's always been. I can't change anything about that. But, I mean, I gotta admit, being with you, it's been some of the funnest moments I've had in this fucking place. I can't lie about that. Chris, we could have had it all, Chris Lee. We, we had it. We had an opportunity. Why? We, we, we could have had it all. I, I liked you, Chris Lee. I liked you. You were, you were good. I, I felt like we had a good friendship, you and me. Why did it have to be like this? We, there was a chance never, here. I could never betray Lonnie. And I could never betray Orin. My place is here. We could have had it all, but... In another lifetime, maybe. I'd say we'd even been best friends. <laughs> You're a fun guy, Monroe, but... Things end. And my place is with Orin, and... Well, I just love the thrill of it all. I guess that's it then, huh? Yeah. Well, I'll see you around, mustache. Yeah. Goodbye, Monroe. Bye, Chris Lee. New Haven, that's what they call it, huh? The democracy is real, and I've had enough. Lonnie, if you hear me, please respond. Oh, there you are. All right. I know it's been a bit of a hectic day. We've had a hell of a stressful day here. It's definitely been the most eventful one we've had in a while. I just was calling in to ask, is everything all right out there? We're in position, waiting for the New Haveners to arrive. Now, I gotta ask you something, boss. No problem. Uh, he's uh, locked up now, although we're gonna have ourselves a... Uh, a little bit of a party with him, if you will. Everything's in place. And but, Lonnie, Lonnie, do you copy? What? Yes, he's still alive, Warren. Samuel, are you alive? Is that you? Yeah, it is. Well, yeah. I bet you didn't expect to hear my voice ever again. It took a good few weeks of recovering. It took a lot of time to sit with my thoughts and 
wait for the day that I'll eventually have your head on a pike. <laughs> Is that right? Well, I am very happy to see you alive, Samuel. Because... Why the hell is that? You being alive just helps my benefit even more. You know your old pal Mon... Bro? Your old pal that wants you dead now, but still, pals are pals. I kept him alive. He has pulled a little bit of a stunt at my home. But I am keeping him alive for one reason and one reason What the reason hell do you only. want with him? Shh. What the hell are you going to do to him next? Well... Samuel, I'm proposing something, and I'm proposing a sign of mutual respect, if you will, for surviving however the hell you survived. I'm offering you everything you want, everything that you think you deserve. It ain't going to come easy, but this one will. If you want Monroe for yourself, then come get him. We shed blood for peace. Well, look what you did yesterday, and look what you have prepped for yourself today. I hope you're ready. You're about to endure the first day of your life. Hey, sir. I'm not going to be around the bush anymore. Okay? This place, we just went through the worst day it's ever seen. People are dead. The civilians are falling. We're taking the fight to Orin. We're about to get justice for your brother. Don't be weak, ask me twice. Let's take this fight to Orin and let's kill it faster. I mean, get our justice, brother. Poison spreads. So do we.